There was a young man called Simon who hated the art of rhyming. He thought it a shame that his very own name could only be mated with Hyman. <laughs> Genius! <laughs> and Limerick's the best I can do at 60 miles an hour. When I first read the script, I thought it was really interesting. It really stood out from, you get sent a lot of scripts, read a lot of scripts, and um, it just had a different feeling to a lot of them. It was quite unique, very funny, uh, very British. The more I see of the world, the more I really, really rate the British sense of humour. I think there's just something um, very grounding about it and slightly silly as well. Maybe there's an element in British comedies that people anyway in Britain are slightly performing a lot of the time at their parties or at their, in their roles, those very strong delineated roles. And um, British films do that very well, so that everybody, if they're not playing their role, there's chaos. It's the imminent chaos that's funny. British comedy, it's, it's, it's rhythm. It's how you pronounce things. And of course, it's the accent. It's the way that language is used. Um, it's always very, it's, it's done with an, a beautiful intellect. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's as the, the actors that play or bring the English comedy are very literate. Um, and, uh, it's a culture, it's a tradition, it's, it's rhythm, it's, it's, you know, how they move, how they behave in a scene. It's phenomenal, you know, it's the typical British comedy and it's, it's, it's yeah, it's fantastic. I see how one could place something like the hippopotamus in things like Ealing comedies, you know, and later comedies as well, you know, Notting Hill, whatever. But I, I'm... You know, when you are actually making the film, you're just making the film. You're not thinking, oh, this is like that or, you know, because you're just making the story that you're making. And although it might be in a tradition of British comedy, it's also in its own way unique because it's a unique story. British comedies do well internationally because I think um, people love to laugh. I mean. People love to laugh all over the world. It is, people love to laugh and cry, and that's what, that's why it's so successful in genre. I was thinking about why British comedies do so well internationally. I think it's because they're quite subtle. I don't think British comedies tend to play for massive gags and massive laughs. Obviously some do. But I think overall the tone of British comedies is, is fairly subtle and often relies on quite intelligent humour that's been written by someone very clever and you can't get much, much cleverer than Stephen Fry, so I think we're hopefully onto a winner with that one. But yeah, I think that's what it is. Classic British comedy is funny. Classic British comedy is a world unto itself. Nothing's quite as wry as classic British comedy. Nothing's quite as identifiable as British co classic British comedy. I mean, nothing's quite as unique as classic British comedy. It, uh, it knows what it is, and within it, it undermines itself, so it keeps spinning on its own axis. The British comedy comes with a lot of baggage because it's been such a successful um, genre for so long and you know everyone loves to have a laugh at the at the British because you know, there's a lot of nutters. <laughs> it's so typically English this film it's um it's, that's that's funny in its yeah, own right. Yeah, it's <laughs> really it's it's actually it's it's really fun and it feels really um, I feel really fortunate to, to be part of this because British comedies um, are really good and really well received. I think it's interesting for an international audience to see 
you know, to see British characters. There, there are a lot of there are a lot of kind of interesting, eccentric, um, odd characters in this story, which I think would be fun for people uh, to see. And they, they, they do lots of silly and funny things, you know, in, in a very traditional kind of British setting, a big country house. I think audiences will enjoy The Hippopotamus because it's a classic British comedy. Uh, it's set in a country house, it offers a, a comedy of manners, there's some outrageous uh, comedic scenes from the mind of Stephen Fry, so I think there's something that everyone can, can relate to in there. But at its heart, it's a, it's a classic British country house comedy. Culturally, um, comedy is something that is unique to, to Britain, the, the, the school of comedy, you know. And we, and we have such a rich history of people that we can look back on, you know, from The Goon Show to Monty Python, um, and the influence of those comedians. It's just a strong history in Great Britain um, of comedic actors and comedic storytellers. So there's, a, there's just a, a rich history that people can draw from. Spending a lot of time with Matthew, who's um, obviously from the US, like, it, he's, um, he makes comments sometimes of like, oh, that's British humour. Like, you know, like, it's not natural to him. He has to go, oh, that's British humour, you know, instead of going, oh, that's a bit rude. He'll go, oh, no, that's British humour. Like, that is, it's not, it's meant in good jest. Like, and so I think, and I think that could be, you know, sort of, if over in the US, I think people could have that sort of similar view of it as like, find the British humour quite intriguing because it is, it is different. It's a lot more like that sort of deadpan and, um, and like, it's, it's a bit more brutal, I think, you know, like this, like very honest. Yeah, I think, it, yeah, I think it will, I think it will do well. I hope, I hope it will do well.